This video will be a demo of GDB GUI Pro's integration with the RR debugging tool. RR is a tool to capture, um, process, and thread uh, traces while they're running. Rather than actually running it and debugging it while it's live, it just runs the program as it would normally run and just watches it really closely and captures everything it can about it, saves it to a file, and then it lets you replay that, that recording as many times as you want, and it lets you go backwards and go in reverse if you want. So you don't have to can just go forward. If you, if, you, if you didn't catch the bug, you don't have to just slog through the program and restart it and try to re recreate the bug. You just capture that bug once and record it and replay it as many times as you want. So it's a super powerful way to, um, to debug programs, especially when bugs are hard to reproduce. So um, I have a really simple program here. It just prints a little bit to the terminal and calls some functions and returns. So what I'm going to do is run RR and capture it. So it's RR record and then the program. So it's telling me that it's going to save execution to a directory and then it runs the program as it normally would, capturing all that uh, trace information. And now that information is available, available for us to replay it. So normally you'd do RR replay, but in this case we're going to do GBGUI and just pass in this RR flag. So it's just GDB GUI and then RR. And it know, RR knows how to find the last trace that it made. And so uh, GDB GUI is going to call RR replay and then we'll see what happens here. So it looks like GDB GUI launched. Um, you can see at the bottom here that um, RR red symbols from the dump that it made, from the trace that it made. And so what we're going to do is put a breakpoint in at uh, one of the func one of the uh, files that was used to compile that executable. So we'll put some breakpoints. We have just a main function, some basic assignments here. And so now we're going to just run the program. So it stops. I think RR is making it stop um, right when it enters the, uh, the first uh, action the program did. So this isn't really too interesting, so we're just going to hit the play button and hit the next breakpoint. And so here we are. And so, again, it's just important to, 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 to know here that what's happening is it's replaying a dump of a file. It's not actually running a program right now. It's just replaying a captured program. So we can walk through this captured program as if it's running. And this is super powerful because we can um, look around and not only can we go forward, we can also go backwards. So if we check this reverse button, and we hit the next button, it's not going to go to line 40, it's going to go back to line 38. And we can do this as much as many times as we want, and it's going to behave exactly the same every time. So it's kind of interesting, you can watch uh, this, this structure, let's see, substruct double. So right now it's set to zero, and if we go hit the next button, we see it got set to 567.8, which was the value that line 40 assigned it. If we hit reverse and go back, it goes back to zero. And so we can replay this with as fine grain accuracy as we want to and really dig into wherever we might be having some kind of problem. Um, it also works on assembly, so we can do next instruction and go backwards and forwards on instruction levels. And we can also do it with the play button, so we can play forward to the next breakpoint. So from 40, we'll go to 43. And if we want to go back to the last breakpoint, we can hit reverse and hit continue again. And then we'll jump back until it hits a breakpoint or the start of the program. So that's pretty much it. It's a really useful way and really powerful way to, uh, to find out what a uh, really difficult to, to pin down bug is doing. So if you're interested in this and you would like to get the integration, GDB GUI Pro is available right now on gdbgui.com. Thanks for watching.